And a good evening to everybody here listening to 88.5 FM WVOF. Beautiful day outside. It's crisp, and we've got a great show in store. In about an hour, we'll be joined by 14-time Grammy winner Bela Fleck. And uh, he's on tour with the Fleck Tones, the original Fleck Tones. But right now, one of my all-time favorite people and just a living genius who has uh, given so much to the music world Little known fact that uh, Bernie Worrell performed live on my radio show back in the old studios in Regis Hall, but uh, we're here in the new studios, and uh, we're really happy to uh, welcome the Wizard of Woo, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, keyboardist extraordinaire, Bernie Worrell. How you doing, Bernie? Fine, Joe. Yeah, it's been been a while since we've seen each other, and we're going to see you uh perform in town five minutes from the studio here at, at stage one at Fairfield Theater Company. So you're excited to come to town? Are you breaking up on the phone, Bernie? I'm outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, the, the land, so land for, she usually doesn't break up. Because, oh. hold on. Okay. Bernie Worrell is with us, and the Bernie Worrell Orchestra is coming to town. You can go to the Fairfield Theater Company dot com and uh, let me. Tell me if this is any better. Oh, a lot, lots better, Bernie. Okay. Yeah. So, so, so you're out, you're out in the woods in uh, New Jersey. You're still making home in New Jersey, right? Yes. I mean, uh, Hampton, New Jersey. Yeah. Half an hour from uh, eastern Pennsylvania, Larry Holmes' hometown. Oh, that's right. I just watched, uh, they had a documentary on him on ESPN a few weeks ago. Oh, wow. Yeah. So so you got the orchestra, and how, how many people uh, in the Bernie War Orchestra with you right now? Well, there's, there's ten. Uh, two sets, sets of drums, three horns, two guitars. Um, bass percussion. So, so who whose idea was it to to put it together like that, or you just keep adding more and more? It was, it was the co-producer uh, Evan Taylor. He's my co-producer, and he came to Judy, my management, right. with the idea. Um, and so she asked me if I would be interested. I was kind of tentative at first, but uh, I ended up saying yes, and the the rest is uh, is history. Yeah, you got the the multiple websites. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. Bernie Worrell Orchestra dot com. B e r n i e w o r r e l l Orchestra dot com, and you got a lot of young cats with you. How how, how tough is it uh, managing a crew like that? Or, and where where did you find a lot of the musicians? Uh, well, I didn't just that was all Evan Taylor, the drummer. Okay. Uh, uh, I met all these young, great musicians through Evan. Uh, when we recorded the album, um, uh, all of them didn't play on, on the album. Okay. But uh, uh, I, met, I met them through Evan Taylor. They're mostly out of New York and other parts of Jersey. And um, Evan's a young young uh, guy <laughs> uh, in his also so he's out of uh, Madison New Jersey okay he spent a lot of time in New- in uh, LA um, and it just came together yeah he's a, a fan and mm-hmm. so that's that's all I can say yeah. about that. So, so uh, April 1st is a Saturday night, a real nice venue. Is that the first time you played at the Stage 1? Yes. Okay. So I, I, I believe so. I have to have so many places. When I see it, <laughs> I recognize. They, they, the most important thing, have a, have a lot of space for Bernie's keyboards, and, and uh, they'll get it set up right, and you're guaranteed for a great show because this man – exudes true musicianship and um we got to get into some music burning let let the listeners know uh about the the standards record 
<clears throat> excuse me, uh, Bernie Worrell standards, and, and you'll be playing a lot of that at the show. Now, you, you do a great take on, on a guy who lives in Connecticut, Dave Brubeck, uh, take five. Yeah. You, you, yeah. You, you put the woo on it, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so uh, tell, tell us why, why you really got into this song. I mean, it's, it's a classic, uh, but how, how did you turn it into your own flavor, which is amazing? Well, uh, Evan asked me, we, we both came up with a list of songs, and then we chose which ones we thought would would work well being funkatized. That's right. <laughs> so that that was his main thing. He he wanted to do a jazz standards album, but with the funk on it. Oh, yeah. You're always bringing and, it. And I said, okay. <laughs> you have no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Right, right. And uh, Take Five was one, one of the ones on my list because that's one of my favorite songs of all time. I, I listened to it when I was in college. Mm-hmm. Um, it, you know, Dave Brubeck is, well, he's one of my icons. Right, right. And now, uh, I think uh, he just celebrated 90, 90th birthday, right? Something wow. Like that. Yeah. So, uh, God this, bless him. That's right. So Bernie Worrell is with us. Always a pleasure to have Bernie on. And uh, you can go to BernieWorrell.com. Most importantly, he'll be at uh, Fairfield's Theater Company Stage 1 this Saturday night. This is uh, Take 5, Bernie Worrell from Standards. And we'll come back and speak more with Bernie Worrell. He wasn't lying. He, he funkatized that one, Mr. Bernie Worrell. Yeah. Whew. Having a lot of fun there. Bernie Worrell from Standards. And uh, that's... Dave Brubeck's uh, Take 5, and I, I know you, you're an innovator on, on, on the keyboards and just writing and producing, but what, what, what have you been using uh, keyboards on stage? How, how many keyboards are you bringing uh, on the stage? Uh, let's see. Well, of course, the, the vintage stuff, the clavinet, the mini Moog, the Art Pro Soloist, um, the little Kawhi um uh, it's a mini synthesizer that Bootsy Collins bought me over 20 years ago. and It's like a toy. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I, I, I think they're going to have a Hammond organ there for me. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. But that, that's basically it. Yes. Yeah, so I might bring a little mo, mofo. Right. Uh, that's Dave Stewart, the creator of uh, Sequential Circuits, Prophet 5. Oh, yeah, yeah. He, he's got a new line, Dave's. Dave Smith instruments into uh, a monophonic synth. It's small, and, and uh, I might bring that. So you'd be well equipped. You, you still have the same keyboard tech guy, or you've been working with different oh, people? No, there's different persons, mm-hmm. different person now. Right. Brett Grau, we remember Brett. Yes, I, I ran great. into Brett at uh, the NAM, NAM convention a couple of months ago. Oh, you went all the way to Anaheim, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. They had me going out there. I was doing the uh, Dave Smith instruments during the day, and then I had to f- uh, fly to San Francisco, mm-hmm. play a show with Leo Nocentelli f- from the Meters. The meters, yeah. <laughs> fly back the next day, back to the booth f- for Dave Smith instruments, then go do it in store with. Bernie Worrell Orchestra. The next night, <clears throat> come back to the booth, then do it. Did a uh, Bernie Worrell Orchestra show at a club in <clears throat> in Los Angeles, Silver Lake District. So, so I was. <laughs> yeah, you, you were hopping around. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, the Bernie Worrell Orchestra is coming uh, around all over the country and looking at the upcoming dates this Friday in Providence, Rhode Island, and. Uh, It'll be on April 1st. Uh, correct me. That was, I think I said Saturday, but it's Sunday night, uh, April 1st at the Stage 1 Fairfield Theater Company. And then uh, a couple weeks you'll be in Blairstown Theater in New Jersey, Portland, Oregon coming up. And I'm sure more dates to be added. You've been working a lot uh, with, with Bootsy, your old partner in funk, funk and yeah. roll. Yeah, you guys have always had a great relationship. Tell us uh, what you guys been doing lately and traveling around the world. Well, I've been uh, some more. I'll uh, be in Cleveland with Bootsy. I think it's something to do with the uh, Hall of Fame there. Oh, okay. Uh, that, and then I've been doing a lot of work with Steve Kimmock. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll be right. I'll be out the whole month of May with Steve Kimmock. And it, it, man, it's a inspiring to play with Steve. I, I really enjoy that. And I've done we do. I've been playing with John. I mean Mark Rebo. Oh man, because, he's incredible. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and we've been doing John Cage music, Funkatize. <laughs> oh right, right. So we've been up into Italy with John. I mean, with, geez, with Mark, mm -hmm. and. Uh, just got back from Italy with Bill Laswell. Wow, yeah, yeah. You guys have done a lot of things, yeah. So, uh, spreading it. Yeah, that's right. And, w and once in a while, you, you, you'll jump in for a few gigs with George and uh, P-Funk here and there. Well, not lately. Right. No, 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 stop, I'll stop doing that. Oh, okay. <clears throat> um, <clears throat> there's some negativity there, so... Oh, okay. So yeah. we'll we'll leave it at that. Yeah, yeah leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> the the story's all story's always evolving with uh, Parliament Funkadelic. So yeah, yeah. yeah I, I saw you uh, also. Uh, I don't know when you recorded this uh, Bootsy's uh, unsung episode. Oh, the uh, for TV One. Uh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah you did I don't interview. remember when I did it. <laughs> yeah, right, right. I remember. I remember what what. what a while back when you were on the show, you said, don't ask me about dates. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> or what song, <clears throat> right. uh, or what, what album a certain song is on. I, that's <laughs> I, and, and I just found out that uh, you were on one of my, my favorite records with Stephanie Mills from way back. So, yeah. Oh, which one was that? Uh, I forget the album. It's on your discography on your website. But uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, M. Toomey produced it, I think. Oh, okay, yeah, it was on uh, Tantalizingly Hot, yeah, yeah, okay. James. Oh, James M. Toomey, okay, yeah. All that information is at BernieWarrell dot com. I always like to ask you. I remember last time I talked with you, you, you had mentioned that uh, you know you were getting inspired by a lot of reggae music. How about how about now? Uh, what do you what do you listen to in, in your own spare time, or do you like quiet? I like quiet. Uh, right. <laughs> I have to rest my ears, man. You know, I, I have the, the constant ringing in them, and so when people give me, give, still giving me a lot of CDs to listen to, and I get to them when I can. But mm -hmm. I basically have to rest my my head, my my ears. Right, right. So, you, yeah, don't mind that somebody's trying to reach Judy. So, right. Oh, okay. So hey, listen, Bernie. I, I know you, I know you're pressed for time, so uh, we're, we're gonna get into uh, some music. We're gonna, we're gonna play uh, a track, uh, a couple tracks off of Standards. We're gonna play uh, "You're My Thrill" and "Watermelon Man." And then we're gonna play some live with the orchestra, burning down the house. And, okay. Uh, definitely, uh, we'll be in the house to go see Bernie. Where uh, we can't wait this Sunday, April first, at the Fairfield Theater Company Stage One and Bernie's got a lot of people on stage and a lot of people, you know, Bernie always has surprises, so you never know who will be jo joining Bernie on stage. So so thank you so much, and I was going to ask you to play Watermelon Man. That, that's, I think that's what Oh, yeah, favorite. yeah. Oh, that's a great one. So we'll get into, uh, that's originally by Herbie Hancock? Yes. Yeah. So uh, you, have you guys performed together uh, on stage? Herbie and I, not on stage in, in, oh, in a long time. I remember we were on the same, uh, the early Funkadelic in Headhunters. Oh, This okay. was years ago. Right, right. But we see each other a lot. Right. Yeah, you you guys are pure genius. So, hey, Bernie, we're going to see you Sunday night, and much love to you and Judy, and, and we'll, we want to thank you again for coming on. Well, thank you for having me, Joe, and God bless you and the family, and all the kids out there in the in the Wooniverse, be safe. <laughs> That's right, the Wooniverse alive and well. So thanks, Bernie. Thank you. <laughs> 